angels to others. It was a mistake! I didn't, I didn't mean to help, but it, it was a mistake! Hellraiser TV series, everything we know so far. The horror fans are no stranger to the masterful works of Clive Barker. Over the years, the maestro has stunned the audience with some unique concepts woven into gripping storylines. The Hellraiser franchise is probably his best work to date. Especially the first few movies in the franchise were absolute showstoppers with the perfect cast and plots. However, like most other franchises, this too lost the Midas touch in the last two decades. Now, the fans of the movie series are in for a pleasant surprise. Two simultaneous projects are said to be reigniting the sparks for Hellraiser. There is one theatrical reboot that has been announced in 2019, and HBO has announced a possible Hellraiser TV show, much to the delight of the fans. Before we go into our list, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click from you, but it means a lot to us. Thank you. Let's begin. How it all started The supernatural horror flick flagged off its journey in 1987 when Clive Barker put his unique ideas into creating a mind-boggling plot. The movie narrated the horrors faced by a man who solved the puzzle of lament configuration and got stuck into a hellish dimension, bargained with the Cenobites, demonic sadistic creatures who torture for fun, to bring him back. There comes a series of human sacrifices with unthinkable torture to complete his lost body. But the Cenobites and their leader Pinhead might not be happy with the proceedings. Can he escape the clutches of these deadly demonic sadists? What else could you do? Fuck you! Hellraiser series so far. The precious journey of this iconic movie series started when the original Hellraiser movie hit the theaters. It was well received by the audiences and paved the way for possible sequels. When Hellbound, Hellraiser 2 came out, it had lived up to the mountain of expectations created from the first outing. While these two are regarded as classics, the latter movies slowly started to show a declining interest. Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth, and Hellraiser Bloodline still had a significant following but it has been pretty much a drought for the franchise since then. The movies were shunted to the derogatory world of direct-to-video sequels, and the fans started to move on from the concept. The talented director Scott Derrickson, who later went on to make Doctor Strange, tried his hand with the franchise for the Hellraiser Inferno. Despite all his efforts, the movie failed to create much of a buzz among the fans. After that, the sequels have been disappointing with low budgets and poor special effects. Another thing that seemed to hurt the quality was the absence of actors of the caliber of Doug Bradley to play the role of Pinhead. There might have been 10 movies in the franchise so far, but barring the first four or five, the films haven't been a shadow of the reputation it had earned. Back, child. We're already here. And so are you. HBO reviving Hellraiser as a TV show. HBO seems to have banked on the theory that classics never lose their charm. Admittedly, the Hellraiser franchise lost much of its glory with some poor shows in the recent past, but they believe that with the right minds behind the project, they can inject the lost brilliance of the movie into the TV show. They have only recently announced the prospect of having a Hellraiser TV show, and it is too early to give an exact time frame for it. From what we have picked up, the TV show is in safe hands with the expertise of David Gordon Green for the direction. The script would be written by Michael Doherty and Mark Verhayden, who have previously penned down some shows like Trick or Treat and Daredevil, respectively. David Gordon proved his mettle with his work in the reboot of Halloween in 2018, where his direction was praised by the fans and critics alike. He has a major challenge to deal with here because he will be faced with the dilemma of including or ignoring the contradictory storylines of the direct two video sequels of the movie. Besides, to walk in the shoes of legends like Clive Barker is a pressure in itself. But we have an important doubt to address about the cast. Who would play Pinhead this time? For all we know, Doug Bradley has set the bar very high for the role, but he is in his mid-60s now. 
It is unlikely that he will return to play Pinhead one more time for the HBO TV show. It remains to be seen who is assigned the task of perfecting this role, because with the wrong cast, it can be a disaster. The story for the series is a closely guarded secret, but it has been clarified that the series wouldn't be a mere remake or reboot. Instead, it would expand the existing mythology of Hellraiser. In fact, it will be completely unrelated to the reboot film that has been announced. However, Despite the changes, it will retain the concept of Pinhead as the leader of the Cenobites. If the rumor mills are churning out facts, it is to be understood that the plot will be more of a continuation of what came before rather than a reboot. Irrespective of what it may be, it is an exciting prospect for all horror fans and people who have loved the franchise. As for us, we are extremely excited about the chance to see Hellraiser reprised for our TV series. The big budget injection from HBO might be just the right boost for the franchise that we have loved all these years. Will it be a revival or further degradation? Only time will tell, and till then, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. If you guys enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe, and press that bell icon that will help you get notifications. We upload an awesome video every day. Have an amazing day ahead and stay safe. Endgame Demon. No!